What's going on, everybody? This is Wes, a.k.a. Dougie and my Snuggie, bringing you another head-to-head -head game. I uh, brought the try-hard squad back out. I really wasn't plan on rec planning on recording this video. Uh, I was just wanting to get a game in this morning, just play around. Uh, kind of yesterday in my frustrations with my PC and trying to record a video, I lost a few games. Uh, I, I can blame it on that. I was really distracted the whole time. But I lost the games fair and square. So when I pulled up my first game today, I ended up uh, facing the same guy that beat me yesterday. And he's a World Series opponent, a very good opponent. And uh, he plays, he's not a very, he's not cheesy at all. He was a real fun opponent to, opponent to play. So when I saw that I was matched up against him again this morning, I decided to just pull up the OL Gato and see if it re would record without my PC crashing. Uh, ho hopefully, I got that part of uh, my problems fixed. I think I figured out what was wrong with my PC. Uh, I was kind of looking in the wrong spots and uh, just doing some playing around today. I think I figured out what was going on. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a little bit different than what you normally see on my channel. I'm doing the commentary after the fact and also cutting down the video. I'm showing every, every at bat during the game. But you're only seeing like the last pitch of the at bat. You're just seeing the result of the at bat. You're not seeing all the pitches in between and all that. Uh, so as I've been talking here, you see uh, we've already hit the bottom of the first, and uh, this will be the end of the first actually. As Reggie Stalker just flies out to uh, Andrew McCutcheon out there to end the inning. Uh, this is a very good game, by the way. I'm just going to kind of talk over it in the background. Uh, but as you can see on the mound, I have Matt Harvey, the prime Matt Harvey on the mound. And this will be his debut on my channel. Uh, I don't think I've shown him at all. I've had him for a little bit. I got him through the, uh, just doing the missions, under the missions uh, screen. I can't remember what all I had to do. I think I had to feed like two live series Matt Harveys to my uh, creator player. And then uh, do some other things with with the uh, live series Matt Harvey pretty much played the Yetis and had to strike out some guys that's basically what I did I think uh, if I can recall so uh, yeah I haven't got to use him very much as you can see we're facing the uh, prime Verlander and I do what I always do against prime Verlander just crush him actually I didn't crush him this guy was a pretty good opponent he knew how to pitch with him but I still hit him pretty well as you can see that was the first run of the game Joe Maurer just taking one over the over the fence and uh, we jump out to a one to nothing lead here. So yeah, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what's going on. Uh, I want to uh, address some things that are going on in the community. Uh, I haven't talked much about MLB 17 lately or at all. Uh, as you can, as you've probably already seen, they are have a schedule out for like the developer vlogs and Twitch streams and all that good stuff. It looks like a lot of good stuff there. Um, the things that really interest me are, of course, the Diamond Dynasty stream. I'm going to tune into all the streams, all the vlogs. I might do it. Might not be able to do it as it's live, but I can always go back and watch replays and things like that. Uh, the internet's a wonderful place. <laughs> it's kind of my DVR for the world. But yeah, uh, I'm really interested to see what the seasons are all about in Diamond Dynasty. Uh, this sounds really cool to me, uh, having different seasons. I know like games like H1Z1 has different seasons. Like they have these pre-seasons. And it kind of just, what happens is it resets your stats after a certain amount of time. That, that'd be pretty cool to do. Uh, because I'm not really the guy that worries about his rating all the time. Now, I know I'm, I'm doing a series called Grind of the World Series Division. I just wanted to prove to myself that I'm one of the better players out there. Uh, I don't think I'm even close to being one of the best players out there, but I am pretty good at the game, and it's just because I play it all the time. It was a great game. As many flaws as we bitch and moan about in this game, uh, you gotta admit, Sony San Diego put out a really, really good product this year. I mean, it's almost time for MLB 17 to come out, and I'm still playing this game. <laughs> now, I did take a little break. I played some Destiny and some Call of Duty and things like that. I took a couple months off, but once I came back, I'm, I'm hooked again. I go to bed at night dreaming about <laughs> knocking balls over the fence and uh, what kind of new players I can pick up for my team and show off on my YouTube channel. It's just, this is a blast for me. This is 
one of the greatest hobbies on earth. Uh, it's my anti-drug, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. But yeah, uh, as you can see, Matt Harvey is just mowing down right now. He, Mickey has no chance this game. And this is where it starts to get good. Let's, let's take a look here. Reggie Stalker. I can't say enough good things about Reggie Stalker. He's one of my favorite guys in the game. He's just a total powerhouse, man, especially against righties. But even against lefties, it doesn't matter. But here we go, you see Stalker hits one over the fence, and then Mark Teixeira comes up. He's like, hey, I can do that too. How about a no-doubter? <laughs> so we got back-to-back -back home runs against the World Series opponent. I think we're up 3 to nothing at this point. But yeah, getting back to the MLB 17, uh, another thing that kind of interests me is the the uh, new throwing engine. Hopefully that fixes, uh, uh, addresses the prop. one of the problems that we've really bitched about this year is the bad animations that allow for some cheesy... Uh, infield base hits, some butt, butt singles, things like that. And also, and I don't think I've seen anybody address this properly, but and maybe I'm maybe I'm not addressing it properly, but they mentioned the cat and mouse mechanics. And uh, in my mind, when they talk about cat and mouse, usually, when I think about that in, in regards to baseball, I think about uh, base running. Uh, cat and mouse with the uh, defense versus base runners and specifically when there's a runner on third base with less than two outs uh, you might bring in your third baseman like your, or your well you might bring in your quarters and uh, like you're going to be trying to gun him down at home but then like right before the pitch is delivered they back off uh, to give him more room to make a play now as you know if you've played this game any amount of time uh, butting is way too rewarding, so pretty much what you have to do in any of these cases is bring your corner infielders in, uh, even way in, like put them in defense. I usually use corners in, but sometimes I go a little bit further in, and then that really makes your defense susceptible to a hard hit ball, especially right at him. So then somebody will hit a, a solid grounder towards your third baseman. He has no chance to make the play because... You had to pull him in. Otherwise, if they bunted, he couldn't make the play. So hopefully that cat and mouse mechanic addresses that. And that'll be kind of cool if they if that's what it's all about. That's what I'm hoping it's all about anyway. Yeah, uh, there's quite a few things that's really interesting in that uh, MLB 17 schedule. I really want to see what the franchise, uh, what kind of improvements they made to that. Because it's something I don't show a lot on my, well at all on my, uh, YouTube channel is I love to play franchise mode in this game it's uh, pretty in depth it's not nearly as in depth as something like out of the park baseball but that's a whole new animal that's a whole different animal uh, and I don't think they could really compete with the depth of that of that game but you're comparing apples to oranges but hopefully they can kind of bridge the gap in between that maybe I don't know as you can see Matt Harvey is still just mowing this guy down right now I think he's got one hit so far uh, is this another stalker bomb? It is. There we go. Stalker cranks his second home run of the game right there. We got a four to nothing lead. But yeah, I'm really excited for MLB 17. Uh, the flashbacks was one of the greatest ideas ever. I mean, it just keeps it keeps you having content all throughout the year. Uh, so hopefully they continue to to keep that up. Hopefully they continue to. Uh, do that or do the same thing in MLB 17 uh, bring out new flashbacks and things like that uh, I kind of like the captain's store uh, concept where you can get some of these great players just by grinding the game uh, and that that brings me to another thing uh, that I want to talk about in this video I follow a lot of MLB people on Twitter uh, and I see a great bit of negativity, <laughs> and it really pains me because the MLB community is a pretty close-knit community, uh, especially in the Twitch side of things. Uh, everybody gets to know each other a little bit. You see the same names over and over. Uh, the MLB is a little bit less close-knit, or the, shoot, the YouTube community is a little less close-knit, I guess, uh, just because there's not that instant interaction. But, you know, I've seen people devote entire streams, and these are some of the top players in the game. I'm not saying they're top streamers, but they're some of the best players in the game, and they'll jump on and start their stream up and just 
devote the whole stream to bitching about the game. And specifically of how easy it is to get some of these best players. Like, really controversial that uh, Carlos Beltran made it into the captain's store. Uh, I don't know how long it's been. It's been several several weeks now. I forget how long the captains stay in there. But they're really butthurt about people being able to get Carlos Beltran. Well, why? <laughs> I think he's I mean, it's the best card in the game. Uh, I think everybody should have a chance to use it. It's not like he's going to hes going to make your team better, but he's not going to make you a better player at all. I just don't understand. As, as we talk about Beltran, he hits, gets one right up the middle there. His second hit of the game. Uh, yeah, but I just don't understand why people are opposed to other people having Carlos Beltran. And if you've been watching my channel for any, any amount of time, you can see the greatest moment in my mind, or in my opinion, the greatest moment on this uh, channel was when I finally went 12-0 and on, on camera, and the bonus reward was Carlos Beltran. I mean, I went nuts. He was the biggest player in the game. He cost five. I mean, if you went out and paid real money for him, it's $500 you got to drop for that card. I earned him. I earned him the hard way. But that doesn't change my mind. I don't care if anybody else goes out and gets him the the easy way, which is it's really not that easy because grinding tickets takes forever. Uh, when I when I saw that he was in the captain's store, I had enough tickets to get him. So instead of buying somebody like Miguel Cabrera, who actually actually needed for the team, I bought Carlos Beltran again just so I could sell the one that I, I won and have a whole bunch of stubs to play around with. So I don't know. I just don't get it. Uh, if you want to grow a community, the best way to do that is through positivity. I, that's just my opinion. I don't see why people get so butthurt about it. Uh, just everybody being able to use him. Uh, some people can't go 12, though. I know I play this game hundreds of, maybe thousands of hours. And I've only done it a few times. Uh, and I think only once on my YouTube channel, I've actually been able to record it and do it. And that was definitely, I just got lucky. That was the best reward that I've ever gotten from a 12 and 0 run. It was the one that I was recording. So, yeah, uh, if, if you're in the MLB community, uh, I think positivity goes a long way. Even if you're not a streamer or a YouTuber, uh, I, get, I have to turn off my notifications because... Man, some of the PSN messages you can re that you receive in the middle of a game <laughs> is some of the most hateful stuff on the face of the earth. I don't get it. I mean, I get people get salty over video games. I know it's sometimes it's frustrating. Oh, here's a good hit by Dougie. Bases clear and triple. This pretty much puts the game away right here. But uh, back to what I was saying, positivity goes a long way, man. Uh, and the MLB is one of the smaller sports franchises but it's one of the better communities one of the best communities it's the in my mind it's the best sports game out there nothing comes close and i would love to see the mlb community just keep growing and been been positive been positive to other people to newer people just to everybody it goes a long ways in helping that but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. We're here in the ninth inning. Uh, we're going to get three quick outs, or two quick outs, and then I believe he gets a hit with Joe Bauer here. So I brought in Della Betances, and here comes Miggy for his third strikeout. And here comes Joe Bauer. I tried to run a cutter in on him, and he was ready for it. So, yeah, and then uh, I forget who's up last, but, yeah, whoever this is, I tried to get a slurve high and outside on him, but I ended up hanging it, but I got lucky, he popped it up, Stalker takes it for the last out, and it was a really good game, I think won 6-2, this is a World Series ranked opponent, uh, Matt Harvey went uh, like seven, seven plus innings, maybe eight innings, and he only had six hits total, and through like the first seven, he only had one one hit. So it was really, really good to debut by Matt Harvey against the World Series opponent. And uh, it was a real good game. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit different than what I normally do. 
Uh, but if you did uh, enjoy it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.